You're being hey aggressive. Guys. Yeah, I know you see the red record up there. Hey guys, welcome back to Justin Hinsley's YouTube channel. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Justin, for having me on the show today. <laughs> These are gonna be like random. Yeah, they're like mys. So like, I don't. <sighs> You're just gonna have to bear with us. If you were any animal, what would you be? be an animal. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the question. Okay. Um, a panther. Because they're fast. Your panther days weren't very successful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would Listen. be. I would be a dolphin. Because they swim in the ocean. Or a shark. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair. Rex or Duncan? Starbucks. Duncan. I don't like Duncan. I don't know, I think Starbucks tastes exquisite. Like luxury and like yeah, because it's expensive for and what? Dunkin' doesn't taste luxury. It's a nice coffee. How luxury does it need to be? It's literally $2. luxury it's enough for me to drink it if I'm gonna be nice. sitting on the toilet for the next hour and a half after. Okay, well that happens with all coffee. Nah. How long have you been cheering for? Since I was seven, and I'm now twenty-one. What's twenty-one minus seven? Twenty. 14 years? I cheered for 14 years before I dipped. Is there a season 3 of cheer? No. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here, folks. <laughs> oh, okay. What does your dream family look like? That's the one we go with. Um, like, how many kids do you want? What do you, what, 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 what do you... <laughs> exactly. If you could picture yourself having a family right now, what would it look like? House you would live in, right like now. everything. Okay, say you're like 10 years in the future and you have money to afford a house. Um, I'd want to be somewhere. I don't want to live in a big house because then I have to clean it and I don't want to clean a big house. Sure. So I would live in a house that fits my family, which I don't know how many kids I want. Definitely don't want four. Definitely, I don't really want three. I have Lily. She's basically my kid. So maybe two or one or none. <laughs> I want to cheer until I physically can't so that I just don't see that happening in the next time. You want to be cheering for the next 10 years? Well, I want to like, unless I like find someone I like really like, but... Uh, what is the first thing you instantly notice about people? Their teeth. 100% mm -hmm. their teeth. That's the first thing I look at. I feel like me too. Are their eyebrows? It's, def it's teeth for me. The first thing that my eyes are drawn to... Teeth. If you could be a fruit, what fruit would you be? <laughs> Eleven. Okay, I love because them. you just went to Italy. No, that is what I knew you were, were gonna say that. Clothes the entire time you want to be a lemon. No, doll. lemons. No, see, I knew you were gonna say something stupid. No, that's not why. I loved the lemon vibe in Italy. I'm Maddie, and I just went to Amalfi Coast, and I wore lemons in my uniforms the whole time. I mean, now she wants to be a lemon. Go figure. Well, if I could be a fruit, I would be a dragon fruit because they're purple and pretty. Imagine you are alone at home, lonely and bored. Who is the one person you call? Morgan. That's probably my family coach. <laughs> They've been keeping you entertained. Tell, okay, someone wants to know, tell us how you met. We met in a group chat. <laughs> For medium co-ed. In 2015, 2016. Yeah, he like, was on Jungle Cats. She was on C5. And we met in the group chat, and then what? Probably there was like a just like a bunch of teams that yeah. were in like one group chat from like all of medium coed. That was C5, Jungle Cats, Woodlands, Cat.
Callie. Royalty. Royalty. There's just a bunch of people yeah, from a bunch of different teams. There were so many teams in medium co-ed at this point. From like every single gym, a team literally had a medium co-ed team, I felt like. Obsession. Did we and say that's that? how we met. Oh no, I did not say Obsession, but yeah. It was so... And then we met in the group chat, and then we became friends. And... And then the... the met her at Worlds, and I ripped her eyelash off her eyes. Right before she had to go to awards, too. Yeah. Y'all wanna know why? I ripped her eyelash off her eyes because her team bombed the floor <laughs> and did terrible and made it to finals, but Junkrat hit zero and we did not make it to finals. You know what that's so like. I said, here's you losing and you're losing an eyelash. Well, didn't lose to you. But you still lost. Not to you. Well. It's not my fault that <laughs> you were bobbling skills that were harder than the ones you were doing. Yeah. Art skills. Okay. What are y'all's skills? Associates from Navarro in kinesiology, but when I transferred to tech, I changed my major, and now my major is creative media industries. Yeah, I'm in media strategies. The media building is the way to go. I love it. It's so For fun. For sure. Favorite weird snack? Seaweed chips. I love seaweed. What's your favorite memory together? Oh my god, why was I literally just looking at that question? <laughs> I think it was probably like, the most like cheer wise I feel like would definitely be Daytona. I don't know, what do you mean Daytona? In Daytona when like I saw you. This past Daytona? Yeah, like after we ran off the bat. Oh yeah. Remember when I gave you my ring in the ocean? Yeah. Okay, that was a good one. Gave her my ring in the ocean after they won. Grand. That would be a good one. I can tell you our worst one was losing Daytona together. That was pretty bad. I would say my other good one would would be being able to say that I did the 2020 routine with you. Because that was a fierce routine. Yeah. He was losing my side spot. Center side spot. You got your eyelashes done and they're like all coming out. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like... that? Don't, don't. There's like a whole cluster in the middle of your eye right there that's like about to fall out on the top. And it looks like the ones all the way in this eyelash, this corner are like gone already. How many tattoos do you have? Six. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I have 26 it. tattoos. Yeah, I have five. And that's 20. why I bandage up my tattoos. Oh, that was one bangs. of the questions on here. Yeah, just so everyone One knows. of the questions was, why does Maddie put band-aids on her body during games? Okay, because when you wear the Texas Tech uniform, you just don't have tattoos showing. It's just the thing. But I don't like the way the tape looks, so I got this like makeup, and it works really well. So I'm wearing that instead. So. We're doing a Q&A. At least my eyelashes. Do you guys want to answer a question? I'm getting my hair done, guys. Oh yeah. my god, we never washed it. I washed it last night. Oh, good. This is all the roomies. <laughs> Can we do this again when I don don't these bags? No. You look beautiful. No, I don't. We're going to do more videos. I want to do house videos. Yeah. I want to do house challenges. I'm listening. If someone comes. The hot two. <laughs> Girl, no. <laughs> Oh. Listen. <laughs> if someone comes, it's for that team. We're leaving. If I wasn't gay, would you date me? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
No. No, I just love you so much, and that's why I said yes because like I feel. Did you like want me to make? Did you want me to feel better or something by no. you saying yes? No, I wasn't saying that, but like I really was saying like I instinctively thought yes because I love you so much. But then I like thought of you as like a boyfriend, and I wanted to. Die. What is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you? Maddie got hit by a car once. Imagine telling someone else's <laughs> craziest experience and I knew that you were gonna do that. Yeah, that's definitely They crazy. hit her by the car and she went flying in the air and then Is that the craziest thing that's ever happened? Smack the ground. I don't really know that I have a crazy thing like that. So don't speak for someone else. Okay. First I'm of just all. Kidding. First of all. <laughs> Actually no I'm not. I'm really not kidding. Well guess what? I'm still gonna speak for you. Anyways, try and guess my crazy thing that's happened to me. Just watch yourself. Yeah, I just don't really want to be You didn't get to compete at Daytona. Okay. Alright, anyways, because moving on. COVID hit. <laughs> if you could play any character in a movie or a show, who would it be? Um, Blair Waldorf. Oh, no. 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 Fine, I'll be naked. Elena. Archibald. Elena from Vampire Diaries. Ah, uh, I was literally gonna say Klaus. Elena. Klaus Michelson, only because he's a hybrid, and I want to be a hybrid. But then I think about it, and I want to be freaking Hope. Yeah. Hope's Hope. a tribrid. Hope's that girl. Your death row meal. Starter to dessert. From starter to dessert. Okay. I'm gonna have a little Caesar salad, and then after my Caesar salad, I'm gonna have. Crab cakes as another appetizer because I can because I'm not dying. Um, and then I think for my meal I'm gonna do surf and turf, so some lobster, shrimp, and steak. And then because I'm feeling frisky, I'm gonna add some more seafood and I'm gonna throw in some scallops into there too. Um, I'm probably gonna ask for some pasta because I also like pasta. Um, I don't really like dessert. But all I know is I'm gonna be drinking as many sprites as I possibly can and chugging in the fastest way possible. I don't even wanna go. Probably buffalo chicken wings. I thought you were gonna say buffalo chicken dip. I was like, yeah, that is a starter. That's a good one. Oh my god, and buffalo chicken dip. Buffalo chicken And definitely some. Dude, I made some, buffalo chicken and dip. And definitely sliders. some queso. Yeah, and then I really, really like pasta. Spaghetti. I love spaghetti. I know you hate spaghetti, but I, I think spaghetti is so gross. I love spaghetti. If you could have dinner with a famous person, living or dead, who would you choose? Amelia Earhart. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go with Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Worst lie you ever told as a kid? Oh my god, I stole a bracelet from the store. It was burning on my wrist. And my mom asked me where I got it, and I told her that it was hers. And she was like, no, it's not. And I was like, we took it from the store, and she made me go back in and return it. Yeah. I think the worst lie I ever told as a kid that was that I was straight. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. <laughs> no? No. Like, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I believed in love at first sight, it got me in a lot of trouble. Yeah, exactly. So, it's just like, you better not to. I'm not saying that I don't believe in it, but I'm not saying I'm that I- I'm saying that it can happen, but I don't think it like, is meant to happen. Definitely like, not to me. Yeah, like I feel like it just oh, happens yeah. to people, okay. like, coincidentally. Well, like- You just said, yeah, like you were agreeing with me. Well, like, do you think that I'm gonna meet someone love at first sight? Yeah. Okay, sure. You just told me I'm not gonna meet somebody. Okay, I said you know love, it for, love it for you sight. You know what? And that's the end of the video, guys. You're so annoying. No, that's not what I meant. I'm not even going to explain myself because this is what he does. This is what he's great at. Bye, Bickering. everyone. Bickering. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down below what else you want to see with the roommates involved, all four of us. We're going to have more videos coming out soon. But, yeah, like this video. Comment down below. And I swear you love Subscribe to my YouTube channel.